Our final match today is a beauty. Manchester City against Ipswich Town. Two clubs who are really putting most pressure on that amazing Liverpool side. 42,000 fans were at Main Road for this one. So were Granada's cameras. Commentator Gerald Sinstat. And here are Manchester City in the all-blue strip. Kid again. Barnes. Let it run too far. Hunter clear. Why mark? Donachie. Kid. Barnes. Barnes away from one man and got a shot. Good save again by Cooper. But what an electrifying burst by Peter Barnes. The ball played into him. And it was a little knock forward. Two strides in the shot. And Cooper had to thrash himself across to turn it aside. Watson. Barnes, Kidd, Barnes again. Flipped by Walk and gets the free kick. Taylor has a word with John Walk. Hartford will take the free kick. Again, City have thrown Booth and Watson forward. Royal and Kidd in the area as well. It's headed away by Hunter, back in by Clements, out again by Mills, back in by Booth. Kidd is going on, and the referee has given the goal. Ipswich got it out twice, but then Booth nodded it through. Kidd managed to knock it down chased it in and the goal came from short range 1-0 through Brian Kidd and that will be a little bit of a relief for him because after he got his four in a game against Leicester he'd only scored one goal in the last 11 matches walk for Lambert Weimark Watson's header, Talbot going after it, Clements has given away the corner, ball still very lively in the wind, players at both sides in difficulties controlling it sometimes, Lambert to take the corner, it's a goodish one and it's in by Woods, disallowed by Mr Taylor. Sending him out, presumably for a foul on Corrigan, who's down on his knees. It was a very good corner from Mickey Lambert. One that Corrigan felt he had to come for. Didn't get to. Maybe that he was fouled as he tried. And Woods nodding it over the line. Turns around to find that Mr. Taylor is saying no goal. Owen. Talbot. Mills. Still Mills. Why Mark? It's gone round Corrigan and has scored. So the tactical switch paid off. The appearance of Mills in midfield did the trick. He shook off the challenge from Gary Owen, went forward, was aware all the time that Trevor Weimark was running ahead of him, slipped the through ball, nicked the into Weimark's path. Weimark on, round Corrigan. The angle was a bit narrow, but no mistake. Barnes collecting a bit of a mock from Burley as he collected the ball. And City have a free kick. Donachie. Royal watching it drop out of the sun. Henry couldn't get a foot to it. And Woods puts it over his own crossbar. Complaining that he was pushed. Realises that he'll get no change from Mr Taylor. And so... It's everybody back. All 11 of the Ipswich players like a bed of daffodils in that penalty area. Corner from Barnes and a beautiful header! Dave Watson! He's somewhere in there. Dave Watson header the corner from Barnes swung wide and deep and Watson wallop it's his second goal of the season and it's surely one
from this match. BT forward. Watson is there. It one side of Hunter and goes the other. Beatty has seen the danger. And the ball's a goal kick. Woods. And up to Weimark. Lambert. Tibbets. Oh, there's danger here, and Corbin has put it over. The cross from Tibbet came behind the defence. Tommy Boone seemed mesmerised. Talbot was surprised, and Corrigan was relieved. And we've got to the point of the season when a miss like that can mean such a lot in the final reckoning. The top of the table in the first division, Liverpool still at the top, two points clear. Ipswich second, Manchester City third now and Newcastle having won at Birmingham yesterday move up to fourth